I think companies are kind of starting to see that actually black porn st does sell mm -hmm. and um, black women are extremely sexy and beautiful and valuable and bring in a ton of money. I know I would fucking bring them in money because they would not be having me resign this much. And I think that OnlyFans proved that to me um, because before OnlyFans, I literally thought that my worth was so very little in this industry. And seeing it right there in front of your face and seeing your fans not complain about like it, anything, like your hair, like it, natural hair. Like the more natural I went, the more the less I gave a fuck. Like I literally stopped shaving my armpits. I stopped putting on makeup and I just had my hair natural or I would change my hair to whatever color. This all was because of a depressive episode. I was just like f f trying to find something. And like I made more money doing that and dropping the, the, the I guess, design. ideologies yeah. of like perfection that porn had put onto me. Mm -hmm. Like. I thought I had to be very cookie cutter once again. And then it's like the less I did, the more yeah. money and the more of a reaction I ha I got. It's so interesting because it's like an experience like that. And I think what OnlyFans has shown us is people really strive for that connection. Like people, yeah. and they want that authenticity. Like people love authenticity as much as the media and society tries to tell you that like you should look and you should be this way. Like truthfully and yeah. i think one of the good things about social media has shown that people just love like authentic yeah people like i look at your tiktok and like the ridiculous <laughs> stuff that you put on there and i could never like be like that like as just you are like you ridiculous. love to like make faces where like you like yeah. try to look ugly i mean <laughs> you can't look ugly but you try you try very hard and like i could can't do that because i'm way too vain and but i'm just i no. look at that and i'm just like what a free soul you know i just love it yeah. like i just love it oh, i love how authentic you are and like how silly you are like all of yeah. that is just feels so endearing because it i don't know it just makes you feel like you're just like it's, it's relatable, you know? Yeah, I think my fans really like that, too. They know that I'm, like, an actual person, so mm -hmm. I'm, like, a relatable human being. So I don't know. It just worked. I was absolutely shocked because I went from, like, wearing, like, the weaves. Not that there's anything wrong with them. I'll still wear them. I love changing it up. But I thought I had to wear, like, weaves and have my nails be fucking white and clean all the time with nothing and everything my skin needs to look perfect and it's like they just don't give a shit mm -hmm. like they just simply do not give a shit like there was a time when I would not shoot anything unless I had eyelashes on and like wouldn't eat like it got into unhealthy like behavioral patterns because mm -hmm. I was like okay I have a shoot tomorrow okay, oh my God, I'm bloated, I look disgusting, and I'm like, it's, it really, like, is all in your head, and it's crazy, especially, I do like to see now, like, you see more shapes and sizes in porn, mm -hmm. and they're not restricted to, not that BBW is restricting only, I think it's positive, um, but they're not, like, restricted to this, like, I'm not restricted to black scenes, because mm -hmm. that was a thing like mm -hmm. there there was I was very much told to my face by several companies like oh I wish we could shoot you more but we like met our black girl quota like we only have three black girl scenes a month okay so yeah for them to have that <laughs> is one thing for them to say that to you and it was like a like, couple it was like at least five so prominent cringy. like directors for companies said this to me and like man it just like it beats you fucking down yeah. like the only like i fully believe that i got popular because i got i was like the backup girl i was always available being a speaker girl means you are always ready to go you're always tested and you're gonna do a lot for maybe not like the highest rate so that's why like you get booked more than other girls and also they're beautiful but mm -hmm. like 
there's tactics here in play that I think like I wish I had known about and then I think a lot more people are finding out about that there's there's all these tactics and it kind of takes it doesn't necessarily take away from the glamour but it just adds more of a chance and equals the playing field and like helps eases the mind of the newer like the newcomers that mm -hmm. are like wondering why they don't get this and these other people might get that and this and that there's like so much going on all the time Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.